It is a shame that the All Progressive Congress of which I'm a member postponed the Zona Congress earlier scheduled for Para Square and Ogun on 30th of May due to the scare of IPOP, ESN and UGM. It is a big shame and it shows the caliber of people plotting the affairs of the members of party in the Southeast. I was called by some key chieftains of the party and drafted into one or two subcommittees for the success of the rally, but I smelled foul when I heard that Governor Uzodema was in support of postponing the event for fear of attack. APC has two governors in the southeast and six cabinet ministers. The Minister for Foreign Affairs, Godfrey Onyema, Minister of Labor, Dr. Chris Ngigi, Minister of Technology, Dr. Bunaya Onu, Minister of State for Education, Honorable Emeka Onwajumba, and Minister of State and Mines and Steel Development, Mr. Uchi Oga, Minister of State for Women Affairs, Sharon Ikeazo, with four of them substantive ministers. So, these men do not have enough voice to dialogue, appease, or contain members of IPOP, ESN, or UGM and hold a successful rally. During answers, I know that I know what myself and some patriotic evil activists did to ensure that what happened in River State was contained in the Southeast. We take credit for making you know some Southeast peaceful. We take credit for making them peaceful because we took initiative of dialoguing with troublemakers from state to state. The Zona rally is meant you know, to be used to rally support for evil presidency and show other regions that Undubu are prepared. The APC is nearly extinction in the southeast. While elite trunk the party, the people love it, especially with the you know degeneration in security situation and the southeast. I have warned the Buhari men in private and in many public discourse that things are not designating let our APC leaders tell Abuja the truth about the current popularity of the party in Southeast. We want that the vacuum created by the inability of the Southeast governor to form a security outfit will be filled by Nabdikanu as early as September last year. Now ESN is turning to Gestapo in the Southeast. The existential gap has been fueled by non-state actors. We warned that if Ohanese elections are not transparent, the Igbo's elite will abandon the body, creating a credibility crisis. Today, there are four factions of Ohanese in Dubu, the Professor Obiozo group, the Chidibe group, the Basil Onyem, you know, Onyen Nachola CAC group and the Bishop's group, pardon, powered by Emiobi Ohanese. Therefore, in terms of crisis, evil has no voice. APC leadership has failed in the Southeast. Why should Uzodema enter into trap dog for him by Okorocha? Why not use carrot and stick on IPOB and ESN and his you know, predecessor? The governor has surprisingly and commendably developed a state road network and opened many roads with good drainage across the senator's zone. In his brief stint in office, but spoiled it with negative conflict resolution mechanism with IPOP, UGM, ESN, Okorocha, Ihedioha. I pity the contestant of APC for Anambra gubernatorial election. The current security situation is eroding the chances of APC in the state, and the option is rigging election could lead you know, the option of rigging election pardon could lead to total war. The peace in the southeast is attributable, you know, attributable to the activists of veteran Igbo activists who have taken it upon themselves to work to the troublemaker, aggrieved secessionists, and you know, angry youth in their domain of which I am a principal participant. 
All these security meetings between the Southeast Governors with the Minister of Defense, Chief, the Service Chiefs, the Chief of Staff to the President, Ministers of Interiors, as far as we are concerned, have yielded little in convincing the people that they are part of Nigeria. We have cautioned the troublemakers and they have listened. In the current Anabra gubernatorial no primaries scheduled for Saturday, we have noticed the presence of some strange faces, talks, criminal elements, allegedly working for some persons. While I have no interest in who wins the primaries, my interest is that after the polls, the political talks will not pose you know, new security risk to the security apparatus of the state at UGM or Anabra populace as criminals and court persons. APC has failed in the Southeast because those who claim to be the leaders have no idea of what is going on, no clue on how to advertise or strategize for evil presidency. You know, suspicion, infighting, yet they run to Abuja to claim all is well. All is not well with APC in the Southeast, the Pan Nigeria, e president of evil extraction. Pan PIEC has been conversing for president of Igbo extraction. APC leader have not shown any interest. I am the national director of Christian religious body in Pan PIEC, and while we make in a grassroots attempt to convince non Igbos for viability of Igbo presidency, our leaders are you know parabolating. In Abuja and granting nonsense interview on news media. They are just laughing about waiting for Buhari to do wonders. What is your thought on what has been said? I am sorry. I am a long-standing Buharist since 20, 2003, pardon, who is you know, disappointed at how things are being run in the nation and in the southeast including the insecurity the unknown government, the banditry, Boko Haram, and lopsided political appointments, and have voiced it out severally, privately, and publicly, while still maintaining, you know, party loyalty. Let the APC leader wake up, inject new ideas, tell Abuja the truth, and stay quiet and go into extinction in the southeast. Cancelling APC zona rally in the southeast because of IPOP, ESN, UGM, when we have two governors. Six ministers and other key appointments is a shame. APC chieftains are afraid of voicing it out in order to be denied of benefit to hell with benefits. Let Abuja know that APC is growing extinct in the southeast. Let the primaries of APC in the state be conducted without rancor and let a transparent winner emerge hells. The party will go down in you know, Golgotha. Cancelling APC Zona Rally because the UGM, ESN, and IPOP is really an insult. Conducting a rancorous primaries in Anambra State will be the worst. What is your thought about this? We'd like you to drop your thoughts and comment on what has been said. We'd like you to share your own point of view with us on this that has been said. We'd like you to share your own point of view via the comment section. It is a shame that the All Progressive Congress, of which I'm a member, postponed the Zona Congress earlier scheduled for Opara Square, Enugu on 30th of May, due to the scare of IPOP, ESN.